Welcome to Finest Recap, where we delve and revisit into the world of film, series and movies. From the latest blockbuster hits to hidden gems and timeless classics, we strive to bring a fresh perspective and insightful commentary to every clips we cover. So sit back and let's dive in. In Fabric is a horror comedy film, released in 2018, that follows the story of a cursed red dress that passes through the lives of several different characters, causing strange and unsettling events to occur. The film is set in a mysterious department store and follows the stories of several different characters who are connected by the dress. The film begins with a group of people visiting the department store to purchase a cursed red dress. The dress is said to have caused weird and disturbing events to occur in the lives of those who have worn it in the past. One of the characters, a middle-aged divorcee named Sheila, played by Marianne John Baptiste, purchases the dress and begins to wear it. Awkward and spooky events begin to happen in her life, including a series of bizarre and disturbing dreams. Sheila is a recently divorced, who lives with her teenage son, Vince. She gets frequently chastised for insignificant work errors by her bosses and intimidated by Vince's girlfriend, Gwen. She visits department store Dentley and Sopers to buy a dress in the sales for a date. Assisted by enigmatic store clerk, Miss Luckmo, Sheila is drawn to a beautiful, flowing red dress, which Luckmo convinces her to purchase. After a while, Sheila notices a strange rash on her chest after wearing the dress. Her washing machine later breaks down when trying to wash it, resulting in Sheila badly injuring her hand. At night, the store clerks are shown cleaning a lifelike mannequin, which appears to menstruate. As the elderly proprietor, Mr. Lundy observes and doing some nasty things on himself while watching those process. When returning to shop at the store, Sheila learns that there is only one version of the dress and that the store model was killed after wearing it for the store catalogue. Apart from that, Sheila goes on a date with new suitor Zach, while Gwen and Vince having an intimate moment in their house. As Gwen climaxes, the dress floats above her and tries to suffocate her. When Sheila and Zach go for a walk together, she is attacked by a German shepherd, which cuts her leg and rips the dress in the process.
Later that day, Vince returns home with the dress, somehow fully repaired. After hearing the dress move wickedly in the wardrobe at night, an unsettled Sheila attempts to return the dress to the store but is refused. With the dress in her trunk, Sheila is killed in a car accident en route to spending the night with Zack. As time goes by, the dress comes into the possession of washing machine repairman, Reg Speaks, who is made by his friends to wear it on his stag night. His fiancé, Babs, takes a liking to the dress and wears it to shop at Dentley and Sopers. Luck Murray bukes Babs for shopping near closing time, but is convinced by Lundy to let her stay. Babs recounts to Luckmore a disturbing dream in which she becomes the model for the store catalogue, but gets thinner and ends up being buried in the store. Meanwhile, at home, Reg gets hypnotized by the department store's TV advertisement and dies from carbon monoxide poisoning caused by his boiler. Babs goes into the fitting room while a fight between patrons breaks out in the store and quickly spirals into looting. The dress catches fire and the flames spread quickly around the store. Babs burns to death in her changing room, while Luckmo flees down into the dumbwaiter with a dismembered mannequin. As she descends deeper into the store, she sees the dead store model, Sheila, Reg, and Babs stitching together the dress from threads made of their blood, along with several unattended sewing stations implied to be for future wearers of the dress. On the other hand, this film does not feature any traditional depictions of evil or demonic entities. A fireman observes the destroyed store and discovers the dress undamaged amongst the rubble. This film also features a number of surreal and unsettling scenes. It is not uncommon for horror films to include graphic or disturbing content in order to create a sense of unease or horror in the viewer. 
Some of the shocking scenes in the film could be intended to symbolize or metaphorically represent some kind of emotional or psychological trauma or distress being experienced by the character. Alternatively, it could simply be included for shock value in the viewer. It is important to note that the film is meant to be interpreted allegorically, rather than as a straightforward horror story. Many of the events and imagery in the film can be seen as symbols or metaphors for various themes and ideas, rather than as literal representations of events or experiences. As such, it is up to the viewer to interpret the meaning and significance of any particular scene or image in the film. Overall, In Fabric was well received by critics upon its release, with many reviewers praising its unique blend of horror and comedy, as well as its stylish and surreal visuals. However, it is important to note that not all critics had positive things to say about the film, and some reviewers found it to be uneven or too strange for their taste. As with any film, opinions on In Fabric are likely to vary from person to person, last but not least. This film is a stylish and surreal horror comedy film that has garnered a devoted cult following. If you're a fan of horror films with a sense of humor, or if you enjoy stylish and visually striking films, then these gems may be worth checking out. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Finest Recap for more upcoming content.